Okay guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different because as of right now, Apple is testing iOS 18.3, the third major update to come to the iPhone with iOS 18, right? Now, I wanted to talk about issues and problems on iPhones that continue to occur with every software update. And obviously, I've always said no software will ever be perfect. There's always going to be bugs and issues. But my current issue with the latest rollout of iOS 18 until this point, 18.3 beta 3, is that the same issues continue to occur as if Apple isn't really paying attention to what's happening here. So in today's video, I wanted to give you guys a quick follow-up on iOS 18.3 developer beta 3 i want to talk about some additional new features and changes that i've come across after using the beta as per usual and then i want to talk about some issues that continue to occur all the way back from ios 18.1 18.2 18.2.1 and now still persist on 18.3 the latest beta and let's go ahead and dive right into this video so first if you didn't watch my initial coverage on ios 18.3 and some of the new features and changes i'll link that in the description down below again this is going to be the follow-up video to that first video now there's a few things I've noticed that are new here within messages number one if we go into messages we now have the extension for Genmoji creation directly within the messages pop-up menu here so if you tap there it'll bring you directly to creating a new Genmoji on your iPhone so that's something that I've noticed is new on the latest beta something that I did not cover on my initial coverage for iOS 18.3 developer beta 3. Now there's also a new change happening for notification summaries in the lock screen where you can now select the option to turn off notification summaries for each individual apps as notifications are summarized on the lock screen of iPhone. Now something else that's new within the latest beta that I did not cover has to do with camera control. So if you go into settings on your iPhone and you head on over into your camera options and tap into camera controls, right here we have the option to lock focus and exposure. This option previously was named the auto lock option for the camera controls, but it's been renamed there as you can see there for lock focus and exposure. So something minor, but something that I did want to point out, it's not a new feature, it was available on 18.2, but it's been renamed on iOS 18.3 the latest beta beta 3. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and shift my attention over to some of the latest bugs and issues that I wanted to report on the latest iOS 18.3. And you're probably thinking, dude, this is beta software. You will have bugs and issues. And that's correct. But keep in mind that a lot of these bugs and issues that I'm going to talk about are present on iOS 18.2, the official software release. 18.2.1 and now still persist on the latest 18.3 beta and this software will soon be released to the public and will this bug still persist we'll have to wait and see but the first thing i want to talk about is notification summaries now introduced with ios 18.2 notification summaries some users reported you know some of these notification summaries could be deceiving and some errors may occur now apple went as far as disabling notification summaries for certain applications on 18.3 beta 3 so it looks like apple will finally address the issue with the notification summaries but again these issues persist on iOS 18.2, 18.2.1, and now 18.3, the latest beta 3. So just keep that in mind. Now, something else that I do want to talk about, and it's extremely annoying, is camera issues. So every now and then, when I go to launch the camera from the lock screen or the home screen of iPhone, I get what you see there, a black screen. And it always happens in the moment where I'm trying to capture a quick moment from the lock screen with the camera for the most part. And it's so annoying, just a black screen, the cameras do not activate, and all you see is this. Now, I shared a video about this over on X. If you want to see it, links will be down below. But super annoying issues, again, with camera issues on 18.2, 18.2.1, and now 18.3, beta 3. Again, keep in mind that 18.3 will soon be released to the public, and these bugs still persist on the latest beta. Now, another report of a weird flash of a pink screen on some iPhone users have been reported. Also, a glitch within the lock screen that for momentarily you'll see green lines and then it goes back to normal. This is something that's been reported by multiple users as well as some of my family members also telling me that the screen somewhat distorted for about half a second and then it goes back to normal. Maybe some screen calibration issues, but again, this has been reported on the latest iOS 18.2, 18.2.1, and even 18.3 
Beta 3. So I'm hoping that Apple will address a lot of these issues and concerns for iPhone users that continue to occur on iPhone with the latest iOS 18.3 Beta 3. With all that being said, I want to talk about the official release date for this software. Now, keep in mind, it's currently sitting in Beta 3. Today is Monday. January 20th and now the next beta or the RC will most likely release sometime this week depending on what we get from Apple either beta 4 or RC then we'll know the official release date for iOS 18.3 so make sure to stay tuned here to the channel but I just wanted to go ahead and share those thoughts with you guys keep in mind that a lot of these issues continue to be present on the latest 18.3 beta 3 unfortunately hopefully Apple will fix everything before the official release thank you for watching this quick update and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.